running used to be that thing where I was really present and then I started doing running content. So then <laughs> running started to become work and I was really struggling to, yeah, have that time to switch off. So, yeah, I've learnt that surrounding myself with friends is truly the one time that I can be present. So when I'm with friends, I that's a no no work zone. Mm. It's helped. I posted a video the other day. I said, I said, Pov, you film all of the highlights of your day, but mm. by doing so, you strip away the presence from all the highlights of your day. That's so true. Yeah. How hectic is that? Yeah. Oh, I literally was thinking about it because I'm the exact same. You go, fuck, this is so good. Let's film it. Mm. Straight away you think, oh, let's get a video. Let's get a photo. Mm. And it, it's like this natural instinct. Even and yeah, like that, you see videos at concerts. Everyone's got their phone out. And yeah, like quickly, quickly snap a video, but just enjoy the moment. Take it in because when are you going to get to experience that again? Yeah, and – and it's funny because there's positives and negatives to it, of course. Like you then get to make a video out of that mm. and you can relive that amazing moment mm. through the video, which I love. Mm. And I love having things documented. And mm. when you don't document things, sometimes they go, oh, I wish I, I forgot. did. I wish yeah. I did. So it's a double-ended sword and I recognize that. But at the same time, sometimes you wish that that wasn't the way your mind was wired. Mm. Like, why do I need to take a photo of this meal right now? Yeah. I've ate the same meal 20 times. Why do I need to post why do I need to post this? Mm. Like let's fucking enjoy it. Yeah. And and um or or when you're with people. I think when you're with people that's the main thing. I mean, I had a really sour taste in my mouth with some some of my mates um uh f- f- that I used to hang out with a, a fair bit. Mm. And I found they were always on their phone. Mm. And yeah, it was work, but like you need to get your like you need to understand the value of being present when you're with someone. Mm. And so for me, when I'm with people, I really try and not have my phone on me, not do everything. I understand that like I need to get videos posted, need to get stuff like this, yeah. but I also recognize like no one's going to die yeah. if I don't post at 7 p.m. No, <laughs> like yeah. everything's going to be okay. Yeah. And so unless something's really urgent, like if, if something's urgent and someone comes in and I'm doing something or I'm with someone, I'll – I'll say, hey, look, I've got, I need five, I need 10 minutes mm. to do this yeah. and then I'm all yours. Yeah. Because I feel like that's respectful. And they'll it's understand like, that as well need, because yeah. at the end of the day, it is work. Um, but but yeah. whereas if you say, if you say nothing and then you're on your phone. Yeah. Then the like, other person oh, can be like, this guy is okay, a bit cool. disrespectful here, <laughs> yeah. you know? So I, I think, um, I think it's really, I think it's really important to try and be present, but mm. it does get hard, hey? Yeah, it does. But yeah, when you, when you do, you realise makes you a lot happier because yeah you're able to give you give it to give yourself a break I guess and just let your mind truly relax when I'm driving I that's my time I'm, I'm by myself that's where my mind goes crazy like think of ideas and everything but yeah when I'm with with people it's a it's a good distraction it's when your mind goes crazy with ideas but it probably also the other way around as well <laughs> yeah your mind goes crazy with everything yeah yeah. Have you have you battled with like overthinking in the past? Have you do you find yourself like I don't know, getting caught in your head with a lot of things? Yeah, I do. Um yeah. Definitely when I'm by myself and which is a lot of the time considering, you know, social media, it's a very isolating job because you're not, you know, going into an office surrounded by people. Um but again, I've found using that human that's why I still coach at the gym because I value that human connection and I need you know that time away from my own thoughts yeah yeah it's it's hectic <laughs> it's so hectic yeah it's 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 one of those things where I, I I struggle with it too because you have the most amount of attention you ever you've ever had in your life millions of views mm. hundreds of messages yet you kind of feel the most lonely you've ever been in a mm. sense. It's a weird, it's a weird dichotomy. Yeah. Do you ever feel that way? Yeah. Because again, when you're on your phone, you feel connected, but as soon as you put your phone down, you realise you're just alone, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. <laughs> like it's, it's a weird, weird feeling. You're connected, but disconnected at the same time. Yeah. And I think that's where, you know, when you, when you don't know what it's like being in the limelight and being mm. in the spotlight, 
you don't really have this perspective. I was mm. broadened a lot with my ex-girlfriend actually. This was before I even was on social media and had any following and she's a model and, uh, you know, like the challenges that come with that and being in the in the spotlight, Com- comparison of yourself and like like comparing yourself to when you were lighter or mm. how when you looked a certain way or when you were getting this reaction instead of what I'm getting now and yeah. this hectic comparison loop and it can – fuck you up in so yeah. many different ways and I and I witnessed that. The so growth then, is almost addicting when you're in that phase and then as soon as it stops, you're like – it affects your mood almost because you're like, what What am I doing wrong? Because essentially you're you know, failing at your job. You're not doing well in your job when you're not seeing that growth and it's – yeah. I remember when mine was slowing down and, and I was still gaining like a 1,000 followers a day. And yeah, like, which is still And when you actually think about it and you go, a 1,000 people, you can't feel that fit that in this <laughs> in this ha- in this this um, studio right here. Like, yeah. like that's a lot of people mm. every day, net positive, like plus the ones that are on follow. There's a lot of new people, mm. but you're in your head about yeah. like slowing down. It's weird when you think about numbers as actual people, something I never do. And it's only when I go out for a run – Every single time I get at least three to ten people messaging me, oh, hey, I saw you out for a run. I'm like, what? I just crazy, assume no hey? one sees me or, yeah, no one recognises me. Or you get like a like a, screen, a yell out or whatever or like something like that when you're running. It's so funny, but it was funny. The thought that comes to mind straight away there was, I remember when I first did 100,000 on Instagram, I was in Melbourne and we're going to the AFL game at the MCG and the capacity of the stadium is 100,000. It's like the biggest stadium that, in the Southern yeah. Hemisphere. Massive, mm. like huge stadium. And I remember I, it ticked over just as I was like walking in. It was mm. weird timing. And all you see on Instagram is a one, a zero, a zero and a K. Mm. That's it. And then I look up and I remember going, I could fill this whole stadium right now. Yeah, with everyone And it who puts knows things into are. perspective, right? Yeah. But not even knows who you are, people who follow you. Because yeah. you've got all the people that have seen your face, they know you. Yeah, that's true. You've got all the people that know your name and seen your face and they don't follow you. You've got all the people that have seen your face, they recognize you, but they don't know your name. Yeah. Like you've got all of these people. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> like when you think actually about. think about it, yeah. it's, it's ridiculous. It's so crazy. Yeah. Do you think there's a level of pressure that you get um, or are you quite numb to certain stuff now? I feel like I'm pretty numb to it only because I think I'm in denial. (laughs) What do you mean? (laughs) Again, not recognising how many people that actually is or because it's all really happened quite quickly, I still envision myself the same as, you know, three years ago, like I walk down, you know, Burley, no one knows who I am. I'm just another girl going for the hot go walk. Yeah. (laughs) But the amount of looks I get, I'm like, are they looking at, oh yeah, they're looking at me. That's right. (laughs) They probably know I am. But yeah, it's, yeah. It's weird, hey. Mm. It definitely, the the excitement wears off though, hey. Mm. It's, yeah, it's a weird, weird feeling. Do you ever have really challenging days and... You just don't want to fucking be seen. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. That's what I don't leave my house. You just don't leave But then house. it's hard when you have to film something that day and you're like, I do not feel like being on camera. This is – like, I'm already a pretty shit day, to be honest. And you've got to do it anyway because, you know, the brand needs something that day. That's that's one of the, the shit things about it. Um, but, you know. What, are, you what are people – what are the things that people don't see – All right, we're going to have to stop the clip just there. If you enjoyed this little snippet from the episode we did with Annabelle Ronfelt, we spoke all things about the raw reality behind social media and the different challenges and her journey. If you enjoyed this little clip, then you would absolutely love the full episode. So be sure to go check it out and enjoy.